Te whare e tu nei, tēnā koe. Te papa i waho rā, tēnā koe. Te mana whenua o tēne rohe, tēnā koe. Tēnā koutou. E ngā iwi, e ngā reo, rau rangatira mā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. I greet the place we are in, I greet the land around us. I greet the people who live here. Greetings to all people, all voices, all those in leadership among us. Greetings to you all. It's my very great pleasure on behalf of the New Zealand Choral Federation uh, to welcome you all here to the Big Sing finale 2015. My name is John Rosser and I'm the chair of the NZCF. Thank you in turn, uh, Te Hayata Awatea, for your welcome to us. We are happy and very honoured to be here in this place. May I also acknowledge our guest, the Honourable Annette King, 
my fellow NZCF board members, the superb Wellington organising team led so ably as ever by Elizabeth Crayford, our three expert adjudicators, Carl Crossan from Adelaide, Judy Bellingham from Dunedin, and Michael Fulcher from Melbourne. And you, ladies and gentlemen, conductors, teachers, family supporters, not forgetting, of course, the members of the 24 fine choirs who will take part in this finale. I said this last year in Auckland, but it still holds true. As you immerse yourselves in the next, these next three days, remember that you are part of a big sing tradition that stretches back well over 30 years and that it has produced some fabulous singers and seeded many fine choirs. It's a tradition of which we in the New Zealand Choral Federation are immensely proud. Remember too that choral singing is an activity not just for your school years but for life. Keep it going and I promise you it'll give you a world of pleasure, friendship and achievement. Good luck to you all and have a wonderful finale. Thank you. Tēnā koutou katoa, ko Vicky Thorpe maho. We would now like to welcome a quintet from Wellington Brass to play for us today. Wellington Brass was founded in 1905 and was originally called the Wellington Corporation Tramways Band. Today, under its leadership of its musical director, David Bremner, the band continues to make its mark whilst maintaining its great traditions, a bit like the big sing. The band has built a formidable reputation for highly entertaining concerts and its members are actively involved in music education and teaching in the community. Wellington Brass has many notable triumphs to its credit. This year they won the Australian and New Zealand national titles, making them the champion band of Australasia. Their next goal is, of course, world domination, to compete against the best bands in the world at the 2016 British Open. Today, they will play for us two pieces, Entry of the Gladiators by Julius Fuchik and That's a Plenty by Lou Pollock. Please welcome to the stage, Wellington Brass.
And now, to open the Big Sing National Finale for 2015, we are delighted to be joined by the Honourable Annette King, MP for Rongutai and Deputy, Deputy Leader of the Opposition. Kiro Tato, no mai haremai, tena koto, tena koto, tena koto katoa. Welcome to the coolest little capital in the world, Wellington, where the wind seldom blows and where all politicians are honest. <laughs> so welcome, welcome to the Big Sing National Final for 2015. I'd like to first of all acknowledge Wellington Girls and Wellington College the Kapahaka Group for performing the mihi today. Thank you. I also, yes. I also want to acknowledge the Wellington Brass Band, and they are the Australasian champions, and best of luck for world domination. That was a fantastic performance, thank you. I'd like to acknowledge the four adjudicators on the panel today. Carl Rosson, who comes from Adelaide, Michael Fulcher, who's from Melbourne, but has lived in Wellington, so he knows what I said about Wellington is true. Judy Bellingham, who comes from Dunedin, and Tani Mahuta Gray, um, who is here for, for Māori. I'd also like to acknowledge all the volunteers who have helped put together uh, the big thing. And this wouldn't happen, as you know, without all those volunteers. And last but not least, the students and the choir directors. There must have been a huge commitment from you, balancing your schoolwork, your musical activities, your sporting engagements, and perhaps even a tiny bit of social life on the side. And putting all that together, has, you have had to give a big commitment. Thank you very much. But who doesn't like to sing? Even if it's secretly in the shower or in the car or as I have done on a number of occasions with a hairbrush pretending that I am Olivia Newton-John <laughs> or, or at parties or in groups or even around the piano which was a, an old tradition in New Zealand that I was brought up with in a small country town where my mother played the piano. My father sat in the, in the old chair smoking his pipe us girls sang and the dog next door used to bark. But you could also be in a school choir. And a philosopher once said, without music, life would be a mistake. Well, the big thing is not a mistake. It's an annual event that started in the mid 1970s and it has been run by the New Zealand Choral Federation since 1987, so almost 30 years. So today we have here school choirs from the country's top 24 secondary schools. Secretly, I am delighted, six of the finale choirs are from Wellington, but um, don't tell anyone I said that. There, there are more than 700 singers and they've been chosen, you've been chosen from 9,500 who registered at this year's regional festivals. And I think the big sing is aptly named as a festival because it does celebrate the joy of singing, bringing together musical tones through many voices. And I have been told that in New Zealand, we have the most functional national choral scenes of any country in the world. And it comes from the fact that we are very community minded. And you know that, uh, that choir singing is making a strong comeback around the world when reality TV finds choral singing interesting enough to play in prime time, you know that something is happening. And I was one of those who joined thousands of others who watched choir master Gareth Malone on the BBC programme teach choral singing to people who didn't know they could even sing. And the results were amazing and it was exciting to watch. So I hope that when you leave school, you do keep singing in choirs, in the car, in the bath, just keep singing. I have great pleasure in declaring open the Big Sing Finale 2015. Curatato.
Kia ora tato. To conclude this opening ceremony, please be upstanding for the national anthem accompanied by the Wellington Brass Quintet. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.